But here comes Final Jeopardy. Category is North American Geography. We'll reveal the clue. Just an impressive game. One of the more impressive showings I've seen in quite a while. Welcome to Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams, and it pains me to say that Margaret's total could be 42000 had she wagered what I think everyone who was watching tonight was hoping she would on that Daily Double, basically a librarian's dream category. Instead, she went for 3800 and now has to contend with Carter, who had a great game as well at 20000 Hannah just had some trouble tonight. Uh, 5400 still put on a good show. I was kind of hoping that Margaret wouldn't get that last clue, that Hannah would get it instead, or they would go unanswered so that we'd have exactly two-thirds situation where Margaret would have to choose, do I wager 10,000 and one or 10,000, and Carter has to make a choice as well. Fun mind games, but this one's pretty straightforward. If, uh, <clears throat> if Carter doubles up again 40,000, uh, so Margaret's going to want to wager at least 8,001. And to force Carter to get it right, because he's crushed, he has to get it right, and hope that Margaret misses to have a shot at win. Uh, he it's probably going to go for everything, but Margaret could wager 11999 and if Carter wagers zero, he's sunk, and he get a gray wager anyway. He's not going to do that, he's a good wager. Uh, <clears throat> Carter should wager everything. But uh, if he wants to force Hannah to get it right for some reason, he could wager 14-6 at most. Uh, I don't really see that as a really great strategy. I'm not endorsing this at all, but if he feels like it, he could. The, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's won two games. I don't see any reason for him to do that. So it's... It's pretty late here, it's 1 o'clock, and uh, they have uh, ads for tonight's debate, which I haven't seen. I heard it got pretty uh, raucous. Uh, but instead, I was uh, spending some of my evening at a gathering of llamas, Learned League people, and uh, the commissioner, Thorsten A. Integrity, was present and uh, was having a good time and was losing his voice toward the end of the night. So it was good to meet him, and good to meet a lot of other fellow trivia enthusiasts. I like that uh, element category with the songs. I didn't like some of the clue placements there. Uh, the Simon and Garfunkel clue, if you had to name four or five Simon and Garfunkel songs right off the top of your head, I don't think Sound of Silence would be one of them. It wouldn't be for me, probably. But uh, putting that at 1,200 and then putting the only Black Sabbath song that 80% of America at least knows as a $2,000 clue, not really the best. Uh, oh, great. More campaign ads. Super. This is for taxing of, against taxing Todd Kaminsky. That's kind of funny. Did uh, <clears throat> anyone else get that Anvil clue because of uh, Looney Tunes? I mean, I know what an Anvil is now, but... First time I ever saw it was obviously with Acme Corporation branded on it. All right, let's see what happens here. The possibility of a really big payday exists for two of our players today. The category for final is North American geography, and here is the clue for the three of you. Far from New England, it's the state that has the shortest land border with Canada, only 45 miles. 30 seconds, good luck. All right, so I was gonna mute it, but play with it off. You can work your way across Alaska, obviously not. Uh, Washington, no. Idaho, it's pretty short. Sure. Montana, no. North Dakota, no. Minnesota, no. Uh, Wisconsin doesn't touch. Michigan doesn't touch because it has uh, a couple of rivers, Detroit River and some other river. And that, now we're getting too close to New England. Uh, this is this clue is way too easy, I think. Anna, you're still writing. You're putting a lot of stuff down there. All I have to do is put ID, and that's good that enough. Long. Let's take a look at what you wrote down. You started off with Michigan. You crossed that out. We're going with any. Then you came back with Michigan. Uh, wrong on all three. So, so it's going to cost you 5400 Now we go to Carter Spires. He had $20,000. Did he come up with the correct response? Yes, he did. Everything, I please. And he will add 12,001, taking him to 32,000. Okay, I can understand that wager. He is in the lead by $1. Okay. 
Margaret, you can smile. Let's take a look at your report. Oh, you can smile a lot if you risk more than a buck. 8100. All right. Wow. Great game. Oh, yeah, she's tough. I just hope she uh, she makes bigger wagers when she finds daily doubles tomorrow in categories that she clearly likes. A uh, very strong player, very good knowledge base, and uh, pretty fast on the buzzer too. Surprisingly, uh, she doesn't strike you as someone who uh, is going to dominate that race. But man, she looked like she was beating the Carter and uh, Ann out on a lot of clues. So uh, saying goodbye to another good champion, Carter. Obviously, putting twenty thousand up in two rounds is no small feat, but faced with someone who could be a juggernaut here, Margaret. It's especially good. Uh, and he's an agapella singer like myself, so we got a lot in common. And that uh, 31,200 or whatever he's won so far, or to this point, 33,2, I guess, total, uh, will come in handy in paying off one semester of student loans from law school. That's it for me. I'm sure my neighbors are mad at hearing a voice coming through the floor or the ceiling. And uh, I guess I'll leave it there. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, one thing I almost forgot to say. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. It's their 32nd. And it was pretty nice to see Alex tearing up over his mother's birthday. I assume that was his mother. Pretty clear, but... All right, Friday, right here. We'll see you then on the final wager.